Hello guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So I am moving in a week and a half. And obviously part of moving is like breaking down everything I own, chucking away like 50% of my stuff. So I thought it would be a great idea to do a video on products that I am throwing out. This doesn't necessarily mean that these are bad products in any way, they're just products that I don't necessarily need or want in my collection anymore. I did a huge clear out last year when I moved and I've done it all again this year. So there's like boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff that are going to like my friends and family and being put into giveaways for you guys etc so yeah i thought i would just grab some products out of those boxes and do a products i'm throwing out video like i said doesn't make them bad products this isn't a products i hate video i just thought i would use them one last final time before they go off to different homes if my backdrop's a little bit like weird looking i had to like take it down for something and then i put it back up and i just i just feel like it looks like weird i can't get it like taut enough like how it was before it's bugging the shit out of me so i apologize we are just gonna have to ride it out together. And also this like nest on top of my head. I don't know. I feel like every time I'm like close to understanding how my hair works. No, I'm not close at all. So yeah, full face of products I am throwing out. I really hope you guys enjoy. Of course, if you do, please hit the thumbs up button for me. Scratch my channel, scratch my channel. And let's dive right in. So I'm gonna start with a skin product. I really don't know which one to use. I have the Nymph Radiant Serum Beauty Elixir from Barry M and then the Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops from Tarte. I don't know if to like just use both. Okay, the Barry M one looks like vegetable oil. So I'm gonna use the Tarte one. And I'm just putting a couple of drops of this on my skin just so it like soaks in. Whenever I use oils on my skin, I kind of like to let them soak in first and then do eyes and then obviously go back to skin. Just cause I don't wanna use this as like a primer and then go straight over the top with the foundation cause I feel like it's just gonna break it up. I haven't used these for a very long time. Are they expired? Who knows? Okay, I feel like that did nothing. Maybe this is a products I hate video. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Barry M one just because fuck it, it's here. I don't quite know what this does. We're about to find out, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I move in just under two weeks. It's like a week and a half now. I have always lived here in Wales and for the last couple of years I lived in Cardiff. So it's like a little bit scary, but I am excited to be kind of, I guess like starting over in a new city. But it is definitely starting to dawn on me that it is a big move and I'm kind of like leaving a lot of people behind, which is sad, but I guess it's kind of just like one of those things. I mean, I might actually do foundation first. So I have these two foundations right here. One is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a stick foundation i don't really like love this it's not the worst foundation but i just i don't love it so that's mainly the reason why i'm getting rid of it also because like i, I just don't use it and then i have the Stila stay all day foundation and concealer so there's like a concealer in the lid here and then if you take that off there's the foundation this i feel like i've used this once or twice but again it's just one of those products that i don't really use i don't reach for i feel like someone else would probably get a lot more use out of it than i will just because i do have so many foundations and i have my favorites um, i'm going to start with the sealer one this is like you push this down and the product comes up i've already done it there's quite a lot on there I'm just going to take that on my Real Technique sponge. I actually can't remember a lot about this foundation just because I used it so long ago. Really hope it's like at least okay. <laughs> just as this video isn't a complete fucking fail. I know I said about like putting oils on and then putting foundation on straight away, but they've kind of soaked into my skin fine. I thought they were going to be like a lot greasier than they are, but they're not, so. Uh, but yeah, excited to move. I've pretty much like packed everything. I'm normally such a last minute packer and I really felt like a big move wasn't the time to be a last minute packer. So I spent the last couple of weeks, I've been doing like little bits at a time just so I don't like overwhelm myself and just get annoyed because I know I will. So I've been spending the last couple of weeks just doing little bits at a time, making sure everything is in order and honestly, like I'm pretty much done the only thing that's kind of staying as it is until like the, the day or two before i go is this room just because obviously i need to work but every other room is pretty much packed up i've boxed everything it's so weird like seeing everything not how i've seen it for the last year I've gotten rid of pretty much like all my furniture. The place I'm moving to is unfurnished, so I just bought like everything new. Just because I feel like my style's changed and kind of the way I want things to look like aesthetically, just my mind has changed a lot from when I bought the stuff from my old place that is now in this place. So yeah, I kind of wanted new. I've never bought like a settee, sofa, whatever before. So that was pretty weird. Like, honest to God, if you're a kid, enjoy that shit because being an adult is fucking weird. I think the one thing I'm really looking forward to is just like making the place my own because I've always lived in like furnished or part furnished places. I'm just taking a little bit of the ABH stick, just like we only need a little bit more coverage. So yeah, I'm excited to, oh my goodness. Can you do a police chase any other time? Yeah, I'm excited to like make the place my own just because it is basically like starting from absolute scratch. Okay, that looks horrible. When I said these products aren't bad products, I didn't necessarily mean all of them. Some of them, some of them are just not great. 
Luckily, I do have a couple of friends up where I'm moving, so it'll be nice kind of like being closer to them and spending more time with them. I'll be closer to Jake as well, so I get to see Jake a lot more, which I'm so happy about. I think I'm a little bit nervous about like making new friends, just because, which sounds ridiculous, but like it took me a good 20 years to land the friends I have now. I'm not the most social butterfly in the butterfly garden, so I feel like I might struggle a little bit there, but it's just like it completely pushed me outside my comfort zone. I never ever thought like this time last year, if you'd said that I would be moving to like a completely different place, I'd probably we wouldn't have done it. So yeah, it's, a, it's daunting, but I'm excited. Like, I feel like this is a really exciting, good thing. It's a week and a half away. Like, I'm shitting myself, to be honest. But also in the best way. You know when you shit yourself in a good way? Very that. So for concealer, I have four. I think I'm gonna save a couple for products I hate. I'm gonna take the Perfect Match. What is this? Wait, what? No. True Match? L'Oreal True Match? And also the LA Girl Pro Conceal. These two, I just like, I just haven't reached for them in such a long time. I feel like they're just taking up space. Not that they're not good concealers. I know this one is because I used to use it all the fucking time. Can't actually remember this one. I guess again, we're about to find out. But yeah, I just, oh my God. I love the doe foot on this, wow. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like I do not reach for them as much as I should. And I can't justify them being in the drawer anymore. Uh, so the shades, I'm 1N Ivory in the True Match and then Porcelain in the LA Girl. Okay, the LA Girl looks really weird. I'm just going to tap that on with my finger because I do not trust the sanitation level of this applicator. That's fine so far. I mean, I feel like I don't love the foundations underneath, but... I feel like I want to do kind of like a natural look today. My last couple of videos have been like eye looks, so I don't know, maybe something just like a couple of colors on the eye. Nothing too crazy. It's actually like not bad. It's not great. I feel like the oils underneath are disturbing it a little bit. Well done, mate. I know exactly what I said. It's in the past. Let's just forget it. But yeah, I feel like that's not terrible. And all we strive for on this channel is not terrible. I am curious, just on the topic of moving, if you guys have ever, like, moved somewhere completely different to where you grew up and spent most of your life, and, like, how that was for you. Just because a couple of my friends have moved to London, and they said it's, like, amazing at first, the hype dies down really quick, and it gets very lonely. I'm a very, kind of, like, self-sufficient person anyway, like, I can survive on my own just fine. But I'm curious if you guys have ever done it, just because I, I love hearing from you guys, I love talking to you guys anyway, but I want to know just, like, how the experience was for you so if you have and you want to share jump in the comments let's chat okay so you can see this done i just set it with a little tiny bit of loose powder it's actually like not bad i mean it's not good enough to stay but it's not bad i'm going to take a little bit of this revolution pressed powder in translucent i actually mm, i mean i think it just says pressed powder it's rubbed off i have so many revolution products obviously and i have so many revolution powders this is just the one that always sits in the drawer and never really gets used Typically with products like this, I tend to keep them because if I do like a crazy creative look or if I do like a drag look or something, I don't necessarily want to use like all my good shit. Not like my good shit, but like the stuff I like really, really like and use all the time. So I'd rather keep products like this that I don't really use just to use them for those looks because it doesn't like make a difference to me. Did that make any kind of sense? Just quickly whacked on a little bit of contour. I don't really have a contour product that I want to use. So for bronzer, I'm taking the... What is this? <laughs> Why am I so good at my job? So this is the ASOS bronzer in the shade Boast. I used this once when I did... No, I didn't. Okay, this has never been used. I thought I used this when I did like a full face of clothing brand makeup. This was like ages ago. I think maybe like a year and a half ago. But I did a video on like ASOS, Boohoo, uh, Primark, I believe. Like clothing companies that do makeup lines. And I thought I used this, but maybe I just didn't. I'm going to use it today. First and last time. Unless I absolutely fucking love it, then I'm keeping it. But I'm sticking that on my Y5 brush. I feel like the color the color is like really odd. It looks really grey and almost like a little bit sparkly. Hmm. That's not bad. I feel like that's the theme of today. It's not bad. Doesn't mean it's good. But in this case, like this actually isn't too bad. Like it's alright. It's not my fave, but it's also not not my fave. You know what I mean. I feel like I'm really going off bronzer. Oh my god, wow. That was, that was a lot. That was a lot. I'm so hungry. Like, I'm trying to be professional and film this video, but all I can think about is the Subway I'm going to get in a minute. But do I get a sandwich? Or do I get a salad? If you've never tried a Subway salad, that shit is great. This is actually, like, not a bad bronzer. I feel like if I didn't have, like, 96 other bronzers, I would keep it. Okay, I'm not over bronzer. I completely lied. 
That's actually quite nice. I feel like my actual like skin, like foundation and stuff, and the primer isn't wonderful, but the bronze is cute. So I got a couple of products for highlight. These are both from NYX. Like I said, like these aren't bad products. I love NYX and I in particular really like this product when it came out. This is the Love You So Mochi. Is it Mochi or Mochi? Like I know what Mochi is. Cause I thought it was Mochi, but then like Noki, like the pasta, I don't know. So this comes with three shades. I'm just gonna take a little mix of each of them because it's the last time, so I may as well. This formula, by the way, is the weirdest formula. It's almost like putty, can you see that? Let's see? It's so strange, but I feel like it kind of is one of those formulas that just sits really nicely on the skin. It's not super intense, it's more of like a glow from within kind of glow. You ain't stop in traffic with this, but you might stop a person on the street who will be like, ooh, skin looks cute. You know, it's, it's one of them. It's like a, it's a passerby highlighter. It's a stranger in the street highlighter. But like I said, because it's a formula, it's like super lightweight. So it's perfect for just kind of like every day. And even though they are like colors, like there's yellow, pink, and blue, they're not really intensely like pigmented in the way of color. So it's not gonna look like ridiculous on your skin. Do you see how my nose kind of just looks like wet glowy? It's like that. Wet glowy would have been the perfect description, not stranger on the street glowy. And then also from NYX, I have this Sprinkle Town highlighter. I can't actually remember if this was in an advent calendar or if this came out as part of their, uh, like they did a whole like candy collection or if this is in their candy collection, but they also just included it in an advent calendar. I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the shade Pop and Rock. I'm just taking a little M504. Let's just go in like, right on the high points. I've never actually used this either. It's kind of like a strange bluey lavender color. Yeah, it's cute, just like a nice daytime glow. Uh, I also have a couple of blushes, I'm not sure which one to use. One is from Floma, which is one of my favorite brands in general, but favorite like affordable brands as well. This is the Baked Blush in the shade Touch of Rose. I don't typically like baked blushes that aren't Luminoso from Milani. Their matte blush, they do a matte blush, I think it's Apricot. It's beautiful from Floma, it's stunning. Um, this one I just wasn't too sure about. There's a lot of like kind of like shimmery gold in there. It just really doesn't seem like my kind of product, which is why I don't want to keep it. And I also have this one from Technique. This is the Technique Shimmer Blush in the shade Moroccan Sunset, which is a gorgeous name. Shimmery blushes and shimmery bronzes are something that like I'm not too fussed on, but I have found a couple that I love, but it's like kind of very hard to find a lot of them, you know? Like I have those two or three, which I use all the fucking time, but they were like really rare finds. What I'm actually gonna do is just take a mixture of the two on my E3 brush, just cause I can't decide. It's not super intense, which I like. I've probably said this a million times, but I hate cheap products that are like really super pigmented straight away. I prefer something you can build just because it does give you the opportunity to have like a more natural look if you wanted to. Obviously I don't, I am a clown, but if you wanted to, the option's there. I mean, yeah, like it looks fine, but it's not, they're just, they're just not my kind of product, which is absolutely fine. There is a fucking load over there that is. Hopefully someone will take these off my hands and enjoy them and love them and cherish them because unfortunately I cannot be the parent they want me to be. I just went ahead and primed my eyes a little bit with my P. Louise base. I did both eyes at the same time. I have no idea why. So when I don't do, it's gonna dry and crease, which is ideal. So for my eyes today, I'm gonna be using the Born to Run palette from Urban Decay. I used this once, again, so long ago, and I just haven't used it since. And I feel like a lot of these shades I do have in other palettes that I do prefer. And honestly, I'd, like, I'd rather keep them. Um, Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do something like really, just like soft and chill. I'm gonna start with this shade here. This is Still Shot. It's kind of like a really gorgeous like peach color. I'm taking that on an R39 from Morphe. I don't know, hmm. Should I just kind of like put it everywhere? I always see people on Instagram do looks like this and they look stunning. Probably will look like a bag of shit. To be honest, I'm just not like crazy in the mood to do a full eyeshadow look. I feel like I'm literally gonna do this, like throw a shimmer on and a wing and call it a day. I'm always so jealous of people who can pull off looks like this. I feel like I just look stupid. Plus those oils have like really disrupted the base. So uh, yeah, I'm chucking those out for good reason. I don't typically love oils on my skin anyway, so it's all good with me. Okay, so I just went ahead onto my brows. I threw on a liner. I don't have a liner I want to throw out. So I just used the one from House Labs. This is like the third video I'm talking about this. This stuff is ridiculous. It's so fucking good. That is not going anywhere. 
anytime soon. And then for lashes, I found like a really spiky pair in the drawer and this is Siren Double from House of Lashes. And they're kind of like spiky and cool, I like them. For my lips, I'm gonna be taking the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Brunch Me. This formula is actually really, really great. I have every single one of these. So I basically am just not keeping it because there's other shades that I would rather keep and I feel like keeping all of them is really stupid. So yeah, this is just one of the shades that I'm not keeping, but like, look how good that formula is. Like, oh. it's so nice. Maybe I should keep this. No, nope. put my foot down. It's such a nice color. But again, like I said, I have every color, so I kind of just like narrowed them down. I always do that with products that I get like every shade of. Typically with lipsticks like Huda and Anastasia and stuff. And Jeffrey, I have all of them, if not like pretty much all of them. So I do like to go through and just like narrow it down to shades I actually want to keep. I throw away a lot of purple. I don't seem to be a fan of purple. <laughs> For a little bit of gloss then, I'm gonna be taking the Busy Gal Gloss from Tarte. This is in the shade Do It All. Again, they sent me a few shades of this, so I just narrowed it down. I kept like three, I think, and just set the rest aside for other people. I, I don't actually think I've tried these before either. That's pretty. That's super pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. It smells amazing too, just FYI. To set my face, I'm taking the Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray from Revolution. Again, this is just a case of like, I have so many setting sprays, I have so many Revolution setting sprays, that there's, there's just really like no need for me to keep it. Okay then guys, so this right here is the very final look. Sorry for not doing anything like too, too crazy. Like I said, I just wasn't really in the mood to do like a full on eye look. I kind of wanted to try it. Like I said, I see this on Instagram all the time, like stunning people doing like washes of color on their eye with like a liner and they look insanely beautiful. So I kind of wanted to try it. Um, feel like I might leave it to them. But still, like I said, just something basic, chill, just like pretty, I guess. So yeah, those were a few products that I am unfortunately having to get rid of. There is a ton, like a shit ton. Boxes full, but they are just a couple that I thought I would try out for the very last time. Like I said, they weren't all bad products. Like some of them weren't my favorite. Some of them just are like not products that work with me, but some of them are like really great. Like the Tarte Lip Gloss and the NYX Suede Lipstick especially, like I love. This formula is really, really nice. I've used this a couple of times, but like I said, I just do have a lot of shades, so I was just narrowing it down. And the ASOS bronzer, I'm kind of a little bit like, do I keep you? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to because I have so much already. Uh, but yeah, that brings us to the very end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, if you did, please hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. I honestly don't know where that came from or why I started doing it. I think it always used to make me cringe asking people to like, like and subscribe. So that was just my way of being like, if you like want to. <laughs> oh, one other thing, again, if you want to, just make sure you have the notification bell switched on. I never talk about this, but apparently YouTube just hates us and doesn't want our videos appearing in anyone's subscription boxes. So yeah, if you want to keep up with the videos that I post, so go ahead and turn on the notification bell, which you can find somewhere. I don't know, but I'm sure it's around. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there and go because I'm hungry as fuck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye guys.